We've talked on the show many times about empowering your, your staff, right? And one way to empower your staff is to give them a dollar amount and yeah. say, hey, look, if you can solve a problem that you think needs solving for X dollars or less, and it's going to be radically different depending on your business. You know, it could be $200. It could be $2,000. It could be $20,000. Yeah. I don't know. But think about this. What's the dollar amount that you are comfortable letting your staff spend so they don't have to ask you, right? Like that's, that's really what this yep. comes down to. So yeah. what if we were to do that for ourselves? And this is an, an, a number, just like you do with your staff, you might want to review that number once a year to make sure that it's still relevant for your business. It, like th there's a world where you say, okay, it's $250. If you can solve this problem for $250, great. Yeah. Well, the economy has changed in the last two years, right? So maybe for your business, that 250 is now 500 or maybe 400. I don't know, but it's worth yep. revisiting. The same is going to be true for what I'm about to suggest here. Come up with a number for yourself. If you, cause you were just saying like, like it. if it's some amount of money, you can spend it, just do it. You, you'll learn a lesson or you won't, but there's a, there is an amount of money for every business that if you were to spend that and in error, uh, yes. then it does crater the business. But I have a, a, a TV in my house that I call my hundred thousand dollar TV. Exactly. Because exactly. that's about the money I lost when I thought I could get into the TV business mm -hmm. <laughs> and I keep it. Just because, so I can tell that story. I'm like, oh yeah, that TV cost me hundred grand. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. It's for right. sure. Yeah, and, and it's, you're, it's worth you're twelve dollars right. today. But yes, yes, yeah. exactly. it cost me money to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the you know the Ritz Carlton. This was back in 2015. They told their employees, they encouraged them to solve problems, and they could spend up to two thousand dollars to solve a guest problem. Exactly. Not not just said, oh, we allow you to. They encourage them. And yep. not only is it get you, you know, crazy loyal customers, but it got them crazy great press for how good their customer service is. Yep. And, you know, it's up on Forbes and it's in Newsweek and they talk about it on, you know, these other case studies. And and uh so yeah, I I I like that the concept. You gotta come up with a number and and yeah, think of it as empowering yourself. To solve problems, just like you need to empower your team to solve problems on their own, empower yourself to solve problems immediately without any analysis. Can I solve this problem for this amount of money or less? If so, solve it. And you've just freed up your time and even more oh, important yeah. than that, your mental bandwidth. It's over. Now, you might learn a lesson from it, and, and it's either going to be a positive lesson or a negative lesson, and so there, there's your tuition, and that's, uh, that's okay, like just like with your staff, but don't get yourself into analysis paralysis all the time. Don't get yourself caught in the, the cycle of, of, you know, well, I don't know, like just empower yourself to solve problems. I, it, I just came up with this as we're recording the show, and it's one of my favorite things I've ever come up with. Now, there, I have that's, recent. That's why we do the show. I have recency bias on this. Obviously, it's you know, it's it's too much. Oh, I like that Re recency bias. Absolutely. It's like I said earlier. It's the most recent thing I thought of, so it's the best idea. Oh yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> going to take that one. That's I know I know many people, myself included, that yep. have recency bias. Oh, we all do. We all suffer. Of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. I, that's why I said it. I I didn't say it to sound smart. I said it to acknowledge what's going on in my brain right yes. now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. I think, you know, if you're in the legal field, haste makes malpractice. Well, that's a much, you know, mm -hmm. you're in, you're solving problems constantly. Uh, and you're on the hook. customer and you're on the hook. And yeah. I would say the same if you're an accountant, that kind of thing. Yep, yep. Um, so, yeah, I, I would love some examples, you know, in your business. Do you find this to be true? Do you have to be extra cautious because the liability is so high? Or do you just wing it and jump into things? Or is it, like I said, uh, a you know, based on what level and, and how you qualify the risk. It'd be great to, you know, hear back. Feedback at businessbrain.show.